Okay, hello. We are continuing the finger puppets that we were making earlier. And this time we are going to make this alligator finger puppet. Now I've already wrapped my glove finger. And if you want to know how I did this, just watch the um, previous video on the monkey finger puppets. So let's get started. So for this puppet, I am going to be using, instead of yarn, um, a piece of felt. So the template for the underbelly of the alligator is going to look something like this. You're going to want to draw a square or, let's see. A straight line and a little bit wider at the bottom and then a rounded bottom okay so right now we're going to move on to the mouth of the alligator and what we're going to need for this is a white pipe cleaner and it has to be white so that you can see teeth on the alligator um, the body of your puppet, the color of yarn that you use for your body. Oh, and you will also need a needle for this part. Okay, so the first thing you do is you're going to make a loop with your pipe cleaner. And I just brought the end down into the body of the pipe cleaner. And really, this is just a judgment how long you want your alligator mouth to be. So this is about the same size as the example puppet. So if you want yours to be smaller, just make a smaller loop higher up. But this is fine for me. So as soon as you get your loop, you're going to want to twist your pipe cleaner into the body of the rest of the cleaner. And there's your first step. Now you're going to want to take the tail end of your loop and bring it over and make a second loop. Just like this. And this will be the bottom of your alligator's mouth. Once you get it to the size you want, go ahead and twist it into the rest of your pipe cleaner's tail there. So now that I have the pipe cleaner mouth pretty much the way I want it, I'm going to cut off the excess and I'm going to use these wire cutters. Um, they're jewelry slide cutters, but you can use scissors. Okay, so we're going to now add the yarn to our mouth of our alligator. And I have already gone ahead and done the one side of the mouth. And I will show you how to do the next side. You're going to want to take your fabric glue. And glue along the top edge of your pipe cleaner. Just around the edge. So first you put down your yarn along the edge, the top edge of your pipe cleaner and press it down. Then you're going to take your yarn and press it along the side edge and as close to your first line as possible, go back to the other side. You're just going to cut your yarn like that. And now your whole okay, mouth is. So now we're ready to attach our mouth to our body. 
And what I went ahead and did was take the pipe cleaner and bend it a little bit to make a kind of hook. And I'm just gonna put some glue And I'm going to take my yarn and wrap it around. Now, you're going to want to leave yourself enough string to be able to go through your body of your puppet and then back around and wrap around the mouth again. Okay, so now that I have my yarn through my needle, you're going to take the body of your puppet and you're gonna wanna see where on the puppet, like how high on the puppy you want your mouth. Let's see. Stick my needle into the body and pull it out. You're gonna pull your string tight to make sure that the mouth stays stays up straight. And you're gonna put your needle back through the body and try to find underneath the mouth. I recommend adding some glue to the body where your mouth is laying against your puppet. Just right there. To give it extra hold. And now after you pull your string right back out of the body, we're going to wrap it around again. Just like this. And you can add extra glue so that the string stays down. And now that I'm sure that I have enough string to wrap around the mouth, I'm just going to cut off. Okay, for the eyeballs, you're just going to use two pom-poms and some wiggly eyes. I recommend using white pom-poms, but right now I only have yellow. And then we're going to take our piece of felt that we cut out earlier and add it to the belly of our puppet. To make the tail, which is our last thing we need to do, I'm just going to use this extra pipe cleaner that was cut off from the mouth and some yarn. And I'm just going to wrap Okay, so I just wrapped the pipe cleaner around a couple of times with the string. I left, I wrapped more at the top so they would be thicker at the top and sort of more uh, thin at the bottom. And now I'm going to find the back of my puppet, which is about right here. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to, well, I'm going to add some glue to the back. I'm going to put the back of my tail on the back of the puppet and pierce come out the bottom. Now I can just glue down the string.
and we're going to cut the excess string off here. So there's the tail, and since it's a pipe cleaner, you just bend the little tail, and there you go. It's our finished alligator finger puppet. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.